Hello guys. Now, usually I do a video about Robo War or whatever, or some random other stuff. Uh, but today is something different. Today we're having a look at Robo War from the past. Uh, these were all done back when I was seven. And um, this is how Robo War probably started. Um, I actually started getting into Robot Wars back in 1999. But I didn't do lot. I didn't. I had four robots back in 1999. I had the thing from m m nowadays. I had Guild from nowadays, but it wasn't called Guild. It was called Little One. Um, what else do we have? We had we had a similar one to Launch Site, and we had Tornado, which is just like it was like st exactly like Storm. Uh, but this was the first real series I did. This was back when in uh, 2005. Back when I was six or seven. Okay, so start off here with uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, this is back in two thousand two, two thousand one. Um, anyway, so here we have series one of um, I couldn't spell series. Go figure. Uh, Plunderbird was the yellow Thunderbird. Um, it came with the KFC. It came as a toy from KFC. Um. Razor was the mini bot version of Razor, and Gukato is the modern day Senna's Revenge. So, yeah, it did pretty well. And Ramstein was another toy, it was a toy car. Um, it was like a Le Mans racer toy car, and that came forth. There's only four robots in this series. So, um, yeah, there you go. Probably didn't know that, but there's, there's series one. Series two, I expanded a lot. Uh, there was 12 robots competing. Uh, series, well, I only had 12, I, I called them semis because they were like the semi-finals from series 5 and 6. Um, I, I got, I was very lazy. Um, we have Smarty there, which was a, a smart car topic. The Waltzer, I'm sure you probably know who they are. They still compete. GBH, that was my version of Hot Wheel. Um, back in the day. Um, who else do, would you know here? P-A-Gip, Pay-Gip. That was is modern day F40, and over here, Meso is modern day M3. So, yeah, and in series two, Gokato once again making it into the seas. You will notice that a lot, and Razor again making it into the seas. 911 was a little toy. Um, Porsche, I had lots of toy Porsches. Series three, uh, this is where we became a bit more organized. Um, same layout. All the layouts are the same all the way through now. And the winner of this series was the Waltzer. So it actually did win, and Gokato once again, and Razor making it into the top four. There's only ever four seeds every series. Same layout again for series four. This time the winners were Ramstein, and once again, Gokato making it into the top four. This is going to be a recurring theme, I'm sure you can tell. Um, series five. Um, GBH became champions. Um, Blunderbird in the top two again. And Gokato once again in the top four. Series six was pretty much the same with Gokato winning this time. Uh, with Blunderbird coming second and Meso third. Um, yeah. Okay. This is the only series I did the awards for. Series seven. Uh, in this, they had the best design award, which went to the Waltzer, obviously. Um, sportsmanship went to Meso, apparently. Most original entry went to M2, which is modern day Merc. And best newcomer uh, goes to M2 as well. Um, seeds, well, the winners were M2 again. And uh, Gokato, once again, in the top four. <laughs> How ironic. Uh, series 8 went roughly the same, with the Waltzer winning this time again for a second time. And Gokato again making it to the top four. The Crazy Drover, they made it into the top four as well. Um, they replaced Razor, I think. So, oh, awesome. GBH took the ninth series as well. Uh, as you can see over here, they won series nine. Uh, with Gokato second, Ramstein back in the seeds in third, and Batmo, which is modern day blackened, coming fourth. Okay, now over to series ten, and uh, this is where we start to see. Gokato's regime crumbled to hell. GBH winning it for a third time, back to back champion. Uh, Ramstein coming second, the Walter coming third, and Batmo once again finishing in the top four. Gokato 
did make it back into the seeds. Uh, the following series. GBH winning for a third consecutive time in Series 11. Uh, Plunderbird coming third and a crazy drove fourth. Uh, series 12. Batmo winning this series. Um, KA Car or whatever you want to call it. Crazy Drover and Razor finishing in the top four. Series 13 uh, saw Plunderbird winning with Batmo second, Ramstein third, and Gokato fourth. And this is the last time we'd ever see Gokato in the seeds. Um, they, they made it into the seeds a collective, I think it was 11 times. So every time back going, really, from Senna's Revenge. And um, in the final series with these with these robots, anyway, which eventually became uh, the main series, uh, we saw Razor finally win a tournament. Uh, Plunderbird coming second. GBH third. And Waltzer fourth. And the following series, series 15, well, this is all pullbacks. And the Chaos, Chaos 2 won with Firestorm, Denton Kier third, and Pussycat fourth. Um, GBH um, was the most successful robot winning the tr trophy, or the, winning the title, four times in all. Um, and it will be returning to Robo War under its proper name, but it won't be called GBH, it'll be called Grievous. So, I look forward to that in Series 6. Other than that, this is all really what it is. You know, I, I didn't used to film it because I didn't have a camera or I wasn't skilled enough. I'm still not skilled enough, I don't care. Um, I didn't film it for whatever reason, I just wrote everything that I did down and it's, it pays dividends now, now my family was producer. And I just thought I wanted to show you this because, you know, I feel, you know, I, I wanted to share this with you, this is my childhood, you know, so, this is series 1 to 14 of Original Robo War, I've been 905 and I'll see you for more series 6 later. Bye bye.